In this video we'll be looking at how you can customise your Microsoft Office 365 experience. Let's start off by looking at the theme. If in any of the main Office applications you can go to File and then choose Account. You'll then notice you've got an Office background and an Office theme option. You can use this to switch from colourful, for example, to the black colour scheme. This can be quite useful if you're getting eye strain and it colours the whole interface in a much darker shade. You'll also notice this impacts the main writing canvas. All you need to do is head to view and then choose switch modes. And here you can still get that white sheet of paper to write on. You can also completely customise the interface. If you look at the ribbons across the top of my screen, you'll see I have a new one called Academic, and you won't have seen this before. This is completely customised. It includes the font, paragraph and styles functions from the main home ribbon. I've taken a few things from view and from the insert ribbon to create this quick tools area. We did the bibliography options here from the endnote ribbon and taken table of contents, captions and track changes from the references ribbon. Now with this one set of tools I can use most of the features that I use in Word without having to click around. It's really easy to do this and you can do this in most Office applications such as Outlook and PowerPoint. All you need to do is go to File and then select Options. Down the side, you're looking for Customise Ribbon. And then over here, you'll see you can switch between Main Tabs, All Tabs and Tool Tabs, such as those that appear when you're clicked on certain objects. With All Tabs selected, I can click on New Tab and insert a new tab group. I'm going to click my new tab and rename this to Demo. With this built, I can start to drag across any tools or commands from the left hand side, such as this centre and left align text options. I can also browse instead of from popular commands, again into all tabs, and then choose specific ribbons and specific sections, either dragging out individual commands or entire sections of commands and moving them across. When I'm happy, I can click OK and my new ribbon will appear. In this case, my demo ribbon has those commands ready and available for me to use. You'll also notice you can select commands you use frequently in the quick access toolbar. It's very similar to edit this. Head to file, go to options, and then choose quick access toolbar. Here you can see the save, auto save, and undo and redo buttons that are already here by default. You can then start to drag across any other common commands. For example, insert comment. As soon as we click OK, you'll notice that appears up here and is then viewable no matter which ribbon you are clicked on. Creating custom toolbars can take quite a while, but with my academic ribbon, I've already saved myself hours of work clicking through the program. It keeps everything just where I need it. I really encourage that you customize Word Outlook, PowerPoint, and any other Microsoft Office programs that you use regularly.